to today on CWN. What have you been doing during quarantine? And do you want to know how to improve core strength? I'm Kendall. I'm Nathan, and today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Seniors, be on the lookout for a survey sent out from the district. The survey is to help the counselors make sure your transcripts are sent to the right places. Some students around the district will begin to receive Chromebooks this week and hopefully next week. Go as many students online as possible for the safety of everyone. And I hope you are ready at your email inboxes for your daily giveaway. Here's Kayla with today's question. Thank you, Kendall. Today's giveaway is brought to you by Southern Charm, your local home cooking restaurant, now with curbside service. Today's question is, what two U.S. states don't observe daylight savings time? Be the first to email us at calantv at gmail.com with the correct answer when. Back to you, Nathan. Speaking of the daily giveaway, Coach Ashburn won last Friday. Here's a recap. Good morning, Wildcats. We have had many wearers on our show over the past two weeks. Many of these wearers live nearby and are able to pick up their prizes in their box. But what if you live not nearby? What if you live 30 miles away? In this case, Coach Ashburn, as many of you already know, lives in the bluff. We delivered his prize to him. How, you may ask? Let's watch and see. Hey y'all, it's been a while since I've talked to y'all. Just Coach Ashburn coming to you from my house and just hanging out and you know, doing what we're doing, trying to get rid of this virus so we can get back to school. And what the hell is that noise? What is that? Hmm. I live near a Navy base, but it doesn't sound like a regular Navy plane. What the hell is that? Let me go outside and look. Hold on a second. Hmm. Let's see. Well, No, there's a, there's a navy right there. One above us, you can see him. It's not that oh wait, what is that? What the hell is that? What the? Holy, what I've never seen before. It must be a new navy thing. It's dropping something. I got, I got, I got it, I got it. Ah, oh, got it. What is it? What is it? What? Is what? what is this? <laughs> the new shirt. I win. I win. I win. I got it right. You didn't get it right. I got it right. Thank you, Coach Lamb. I'd like to thank my third grade teacher. She always knew I'd become something. Oh, God. I need a new shirt. I've been wearing the same shirt for a week. Oh, my God. I win. You lose, losers. I'm the winner. I am the winner. Riley got some cooking done for preparation for Easter weekend. Let's check it out. Not yet. I can I can come back. Yeah, I'll just I'll just come back. I'll come back later. 
Happy Easter, everyone. I hope that you're ready to get the recipe for the best deviled eggs in the world. Let's get cracking. First, boil your eggs. Then, peel your eggs. So let's start with cutting our eggs in half. Next, we're going to put the yolk into the bowl. Mix that yolk. Third, a cup of mayo. A teaspoon of mustard. One tablespoon of sweet relish. Mix it up. Add in some salt and pepper. Scoop some of the mix and put it into your eggs. Sprinkle on paprika to give the fish a touch. Now enjoy some deviled eggs. ISD sent out a letter to the class of 2020 yesterday as a reminder to continue the distance learning to receive credit and that they are working to give you the prom and graduation you deserve. Now Amber will have the run on at sports, but after this, quick message. Hey guys, if you have an opportunity to help anyone around you in the community, whether that be anything, uh, definitely try to get your opportunity, but make sure you're doing it safely with everything going on in today's current situation. For example, there's some trash behind me and I'm going to go ahead and help this lady out and put it away. But also make sure you're wearing the right protective gear to help you. And while you're here, uh, she didn't uh, put up a recycle bin either, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for her as well. And guys, I didn't take up nothing but 15 seconds of my time to help someone out in my community. And if I can do this, anyone else can do this. So definitely try to make sure that if you have the opportunities to help, be sure to help those around you. Thank you, Kindle, and good morning, Wildcats. Today's sports is brought to you by Diamond Cut Graphics for all your design needs. In case you haven't been keeping up with world sports, the MLB is considering starting their season as early as May, but all games will be held in Arizona. Also, did you know that on this day in sports history, back in 2017, the U.S. women's hockey team won their fourth straight title against Canada in overtime 3-2? We have another workout video with Doc Dylan to show us on how to improve our core strength. Let's check it out. Hey, all you cool cat and kittens! Athletes, make sure that you do keep going to the Sports U app to follow all the workout videos and making sure that you know when the next Zoom meeting will be. The coaches had a very successful Zoom meeting yesterday and will start hosting an athletic meeting each week. So make sure you're checking in on that. Well, that's the latest on Count Sports. Back to you. Yesterday was the second packet pickup. Here's Ms. Lyons with more. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Lines. We just wanted to say thank you for coming and picking up your packets on Monday. 
packet pickup line is moving a lot smoother now. We've got a system down. You guys know to bring your schedules with you. We really appreciate it. We also appreciate all of you that are working so hard on the e-portal and doing your classes online. It keeps everyone safe. Um, thank you. Stay safe. We miss you. Have you cut your bangs or dye your hair out of the boredom during quarantine? Let's see what Jolie did to her hair. Hey guys, it's Jolie, and I hope y'all are staying safe within this quarantine. So I'm starting off here with straightening my hair, and I'm going to try and give myself layers. Now that everything is straight, I'm going to go ahead and part my hair into four different sections, just making sure everything falls down straight when I do it. This was a very spur-of-the-moment decision, so I'm not using suggested salon scissors. I'm actually using office scissors, and I'm just doing an angled tip method that makes the hair a little bit thinner on the bottom and it gives me more of a feathered look so it's a little bit more natural. Now here's Alma to his weather forecast. What's in store for us today, Alma? Thank you guys and good morning, Wildcats. I'm Alma Zim. Today's segment of Wildcat weather is brought to you by Ogity Designs and Events. Today we are looking at our highs around 92 degrees with our lows in the 70s, winds in the south southeast from 10 to 15 miles per hour, and our rain chance at about 20%. And out in our regional radar, y'all can see that we are currently looking at some clear skies at the moment. In our US map, we do see that over California and Florida and the Great Lakes, they are currently looking at a lot of rain hovering over those regions. Over the next couple of days, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we will be looking at our highs in the 90s and 80s, with our lows staying constantly in the 60s and 70s, with around 50% chance of rain on Thursday and Saturday, and winds are going to be generally in the southeast from 10 to 20 miles per hour. And that's all from me, now back to you guys. And the winner of Monday's giveaway was Mrs. Bortz. Congratulations. And that's all we're done for today, but now it's time for your joke of the day. So guys, what do you call a rabbit with fleas? I don't know, Nathan. Why? Bugs Bunny. For all you social people out there, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at KylanTV for all of the updates. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all of our latest videos. And as always, Just stay, stay classy, classy Kylan. You take me in your arms and suddenly there's sunlight all around me. Everything bright and warm and shining like it never did before. And for a moment I forget just how dark and cold it gets. All I've ever known is how to hold my own. All I've ever known is how to hold my own. But now I want to hold you, now I want to hold you, hold you close. I don't want to ever have to let you go. Now I want to hold you, hold you tight. I don't want to go back to the Lord.